Thank you, Country. Toby Tucker backstage Friday afternoon, Windy City Lake Shake in Chicago. Year number two, we've got Lady Antebellum. You guys don't even need an intro introduction at this point. It's been, what, like five years, six years, maybe eight? I don't know. <laughs> that oh, we've man. been together? Yeah. Ten long. years this year. Ten now? Yeah. yeah. We're old. <laughs> Funny story for me is, like, first time I saw you guys was at Joe's Bar on Wee Street. Oh, yeah. yes. Opening for Phil Vassar. I remember yeah. this because I, I, you kept seeing her name on stage. I'm like, who are they? Yeah. And they couldn't make it out. We still don't really know. No, I'm kidding. No, it's been it's been awesome. I mean, some of our first shows were here at Joe's in Chicago and, and surrounding cities, and um, we can't wait to get back up here, and it's awesome to be here today. I mean, I think it's maybe the most gorgeous day uh, ever. This is perfect Chicago weather, yeah. right by the lake and everything, and I actually saw Charles sneaking in and run earlier, man. Yeah. Keeping the fitness up? Cardio. Man, I'm trying to. Well, I'm sitting back here, you know, we got Sam Hunt out here. He was out on the road with us last year, and, and you know, they're out here doing these, like, you know, prison workouts outside, and I made me feel bad, so I had to go take a run. <laughs> now, Dave, I don't think it was you tagging along, though, today. No, 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 no. I, I work out here on site, you know, do a lot of body weight stuff, yeah. a lot of yoga, you know. <laughs> Good on the joints and... Yeah, I yeah. like to stay flexible. Lifting. Back to lifting yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been about a year since the single came out from you guys, and you've done solo projects, each of you respectively, you've been working on things, producing and things like that, so what's next for you guys as a group? We're working on a new record. That's good news. Yeah, we're writing and we've um, been in the studio in and out and just, there's just no time frame. You know, we, we wanted to give ourselves the gift of time and we don't know how to do anything slow. So I would always assume sooner than later, but, um, but we're just enjoying every bit of the process. So how hard is it like as a trio kind of coming together on one kind of theme or idea? Well, that's kind of the fun part. You know, I think that we're in a stage right now, like Hillary said, where you know, there's a little bit of an unknown of where we're going to go musically. Like she said, we've cut and written a bunch already, but I don't know. I think the sky's the limit this time. Like you said, we're not trying to put it too many boundaries on where we go and um, giving us the freedom to write and record and, and have that to see where we go. So to me, that's the kind of fun part of it. So is there any timetable yet on a single release date or anything like that? I don't know. You know, maybe we'll have some this fall. Maybe it'll be early next year. I think for us, we just want to make sure it's right. You know, this is the first time we've gotten to do that in a long time where, where you know, it wasn't like a deadline so um and we're proud of every every piece of music we've ever made but i will say i mean there's something about being able to like live with it go back improve on it you know completely switch around if we want and uh it'll be fun to see what we come up with so is there any kind of direction or a theme for this album kind of playing out yet rap rap yes. and rap no uh <laughs> man i don't know we want to try to stick with what we do best but keep it fresh uh you know uh, musically and you know from the production standpoint we're still chasing some different sounds and and uh even kind of trying to hone in on what producer we're going to focus uh on working with but it's just fun it's all about songs you got to give yourself enough time to write those songs and find those songs and while i was out chasing um a little bit of my solo stuff dave and hillary wrote a freaking monster song <laughs> and i was so mad i wasn't in the room that day <laughs> but uh it's been fun though like a lot of us have been writing separately and together and, and hopefully it'll it'll bring some a fresh sound you know so is it easier to work when charles isn't around <laughs> never that's what i learned never no <laughs> no that, that's what we learned. We missed that. him that day but we did we did get a good one i'm, I'm excited for for our fans to hear it because i i mean i would lose a huge bet that it won't make the record <laughs> it's, it's it's on the record so when you write a song you think is a hit do you just feel it like right away not always yeah sometimes it feels great and it's not great and sometimes vice versa you kind of walk away with your head down like well i guess we'll never hear that again and sure enough, some of these songs come back around. I mean, even Need You Now came back around. Yeah. A couple of these songs that you write, you just kind of hold on to them for half a year or a year. And you bring it back up and you go, wow, that actually had something really cool. So you never really know. It's really hard. It's, 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 I think about that all the time because sometimes you feel like you got something you know is sure. guaranteed whatever you would define as a hit. And then it turns up not even making the record. So um, that, I don't know. That's all kind of the, the part of the process. Well, it's Hillary, Dave, Charles, Lady Antebellum backstage, Windy City Lakeside, Chicago, 2016. More coming at you, Cute Country. Stay tuned.